Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your sexy ranch hand co-host Calder Ness. This episode, we are going to be talking about Adepticon, Pizza Dog, Baby Groot, some spoilers from Next Phase, and the final top 20, I think is what Hujibo ended up doing for the best Hero Clicks of 2023. This is episode 499. Howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional Hero Clicks help. Oh yeah, you may have the high ground, but I got a better question for you. Yeah, did you roll a crit six before the battle started? Yeah. Instant deadpan humor. Over oh, six, six people, people think I am funny. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. Absolute fools. I mean, we don't think that out. That's cool because it's expensive. Are you <laughs> kidding? Wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sale products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Use code DIAL5, D-I-A-L-5, 5% off your Cool Stuff Inc. order. If you want to get Hero Clicks straight from the source, go to shop.wizkids.com. Use code DIAL10 for 10% off your order. Only works on select items. Generally, like always in the studio is Simeon Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? What's going on with yourself? It's with, with the, the fifth degree. degree. Fifth degree? Seventh Whoa. degree. Okay. Calm down. This is turning into the eighth degree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being questioned here, detectives. Whoa. Oh, I see. I see. Yes, the detectives are on one side of the table. Uh, my fellow my fellow detective, Dra- I mean, Ian, yeah. is, yes. is e- also on the show. Ian. <clears throat> That's who I am. Detective, we make this perpetrator in front of us. <laughs> Can't answer these questions right now. Right, anyone? Too much of a rookie. Could be. I've been around this block before. You don't even know what a block is. No, <laughs> a Lego block maybe. But uh, anyways, uh, let's I wish start. we could do some hard vault dialogue, but no, we absolutely cannot. <laughs> You're cannot. correct. We absolutely cannot. Not on this show. Uh, let's go ahead, guest first. Ian, what made you happy this week, my man? Uh, same thing that made you happy. That's, That's so true. true. <laughs> That's so true, Ian. Uh, so we'll kind of tell the story together, guys, because it's the same answer. Well, one, we'll go through just like today. We had a, a great filming session. Amazing. Uh, you guys will see this sketch in probably, I would guess, about two weeks, maybe a little earlier. I don't know yet. We haven't decided on a launch, but I'm really excited to put it together. Probably going to be working on it immediately after this. And the thing that made us happy is that Calder and I, we've been living in Omaha together for about a year now. And we were living, uh, just not the kind greatest. Of like whatever. Yeah, we were living very whatever. You this know, is the we stuff had, we have. This is the stuff we'll use. What do we need more for? We had a, we had a TV. We had you know some, some couches, couches uh, an X Men arcade cabinet, of course. Important. Yeah, very important. And then we had our studio, which is like what we primarily spent our time in, like if not our rooms. Yeah. And we use the living room, but now we're we're really good. Now it's like my favorite room. room in the house. This room easily rocks. So we were up till what, like. Three we were till three a.m. one night, just talking about like this ugly is, our house, how is. terrible it looked, and now like oh we gotta change it, we gotta do something, and, and it was we just a spitball idea, just idea, ripping. idea, idea. <laughs> and then that turned into like I went to work the next day, and I was just like I'm still there. Yeah, the energy is it's it has. This was not a late night fever. This was no. This is gonna happen. This and is so yeah. I was texting Calder like yeah, dude, we're gonna go off. Like we're gonna go off tomorrow. So Calder went to work the next day. And we had this weird intersection where I was once again up to three, four in the morning. Kohler woke up at four in the morning, and we just kept talking about, yeah, like, we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to make our house sick. And then right after that, we went to Walmart a total of three times. Three times. Yeah, yeah the third trip was the funniest. We'll get into that in that a second. That was a funny one. But, guys, you will see it in the newest sketch. You'll see what our, our living room is looking like now. Uh, we have it, like, wrapped with lights. We have a nice TV now, a nice display for some cool stuff. We have the X-Men arcade cabinet in a much better display place. Some cool posters hung up. And most importantly, oh, the first thing we actually put up was the Dial H championship belt above the archway, which adds oh so, so much. much. It's so where much. it all started. It really is. In it a truly, way, it really, truly is. So... It was very important for that to be a centerpiece in the house. Absolutely. And so we did a couple strings of lights that we had bought like a year ago. But and I just, hated these. I hated yeah, these lights. They were, they were the worst. They and couldn't stick to anything. <laughs> they still don't, but we taped no, them. We They're taped up. Them. We They're just... staying now. <laughs> and uh, immediately after that, we were like, yeah, we have to do the arch way Oh, dude. And dear. once again, you guys will see pictures of this. You'll probably see it on some live streams and stuff. And so our curtain is, uh, that's where this fun story is. Um, now separates our studio 
and our living room. And it's actually very nice in terms of just like thinking. It really is. It's nice to have a hangout zone and then a zone to do some work in as well. But what was really funny about that is we went to Walmart at like 8.30. We were doing all the work. Found out the curtains we bought were just way too short. So we drove back to Walmart at like 10.30. They closed. Well, we were like, we got everything else that we bought like up and it was good. We got the bat holder and everything else. Yeah, the bat holder, of course. And then it was like, (laughs) I guess we can be done for the night. I was like, no, we have to go to Walmart right now and get curtains. I hate this. We I hate leaving it unfinished. Curtains. We have to be at full power. We go to Walmart. It's like 1030 now at night. They close at 11. It's scary. I know. And yeah. Walmart closing at 11 hurts. It, it hurts. does. No more 24-7 Walmarts. The curtains were 100% worth yeah, going absolutely. there. absolutely. Going Damn. back into the Dragon's yeah. Den, dude, and getting, <laughs> getting the curtains. But it was so worth it. And then getting like... Or the correct way to even like hold up the curtain. Getting in the complimented middle. at Walmart both. Times. Ian got complimented <laughs> twice at Walmart, and I got none. We're both wearing our hats. This yeah. first compliment. The ambassador hat. Ian his ham hat, and then me my like cowboy hat. And this lady goes, "Nice hat. I love your hat. I love your hat." That's what it was. And I was like, "Your hat? She loves <laughs> your hat." Couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe well, it. It's a lot more generic of a hat when you compare it to a cowboy hat. I suppose. Yeah, and it's like and then, <laughs> your hat. We're and walking the second in, time, like, this is in the parking lot. Ten yeah. seconds. We're there for ten seconds. A kid gets out of his car, like he opens the, the door, <laughs> yeah, to give Ian a compliment. He throws up a peace sign at me. He goes, "Yo, I love you, Jordans, man." I was like, <laughs> "Thank you." <laughs> and Calder's just like, you know, I was gonna ask, like, do you think you're gonna get another one? <laughs> yeah, and then it just I guess this is my home. But thankfully, Walmart. he didn't go three for three. Went two no. for two, two out of threes because <laughs> the third. The third time we went to Walmart, it was no, it was no compliment. It was a speed run though. It was in and out, quick and and it was quick and getting out of there. So, yeah, it's just so nice. It's great to be in this space. Yeah, we got a new pad, dude. We're recording here right now too. And Simeon, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it feel it feels sitting on this end of it. It feels like I'm expecting a WWE superstar to enter Mm. through the curtains. It definitely like I like that has a grand entrance kind of look to it. Or grand exit, I guess. I like, you could, yeah. Either way. I like yeah. the free move aspect, though, no matter what. A little grand entrance. What is great, too, is the timing of it. Like, you know, it's early January. Yeah. So to actually do, like, a, a really, like, a new year. Yeah. You know, we're living in a new style. Ooh. Yeah. But it's, uh, it seriously is good for, like, your mental health. It's to, really is. That to have a space, space that you want to be in. Because previously, like, our house, guys, it looked like a shipping center. With all the stuff that we collect, we buy and ship a lot of stuff. We ship all the stuff to you. We buy stuff for ourselves. You know, WizKids sends us like bricks, which then turns into boxes. And yeah, so it just it piles up really quick. If it and piles up for you too, then you should use stamps.com. Oh god, using code Jeez. dial H stamp, you will get no discount. <laughs> And you will pay full price for all your postage yeah. needs. Yeah, pay full Corner. price, but let them know that Dial H sent you. Yeah. yeah. So, like, why do people keep trying to use this code? It does. <laughs> it's not a real code. Yeah. <laughs> then we get to cease and desist. Try to do the dial code again. <clears throat> <laughs> it's like some guy yelling yes. at the boss. Uh, Simi, what made you happy this week, my man? We'll, we'll get oh. off our room. Man, what made me happy this week? Um, to, uh, not a lot, to be honest, because uh, like I ended up working last Friday. But then I had a three day weekend because I had mm. sun, Saturday, Sunday, one yeah, day. New Year's. And then uh, I ended up working this Friday yeah. because when they give us a day off at my work, because I normally work tens, I only actually get eight hours of holiday pay. So I have to make that up somehow. And just like the way that we're busy, it made more sense to work four days, which means I worked Friday, which means. I've got a shorter than average weekend, and it just feels weird every time that, mm. that happens to me. Because like Friday typically is like my like rest recuperation kind of day for the week, and then I've got Saturday and Sunday where I can actually do stuff and feel like a human. Uh, so that didn't make me happy. Oh. It's just yeah, we're we're coming off of like all this holiday stuff, and it does make me happy that for the next couple of months I don't have to worry about any weird holiday stuff or like traveling outside yeah of hero clicks travel that is nice um but uh no what actually made me happy a couple things i found i found a pneumatic tube thing in oh, a parking the lot tube. <laughs> so like yeah the, the little thing they shoved it's money and stuff in yeah i don't know what we'll use it for but i was super excited to find it it's like one of those things i've always wanted it 
I don't know why. It's like I'm not allowed to have well, this as a kid, type of deal. As a kid, they'd send suckers through it, yeah. which was like, now this is pretty cool. It's, it's like, like Futurama too. That's what it always reminded me of—the tubes they go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I always thought they. Were, as, now that you bring that up, I think I always wanted one too. Yeah, it's but, like I mean, I truly want like a air powered <laughs> delivery system in my house. It just doesn't make any feasible sense. No. What, just to At send all. somebody in your house a note that like says, like, note. poop? Yeah. <laughs> or, like... Use yeah. it for the most childish reasons possible. It's like, all right, first things first, I get a new pneumatic tube set up to the kitchen and the living room. Second thing, I hire somebody to make me a sandwich, put it in the tube, oh, send geez. it all. Every sandwich, sandwich just... has to be a hoagie, though. Yeah. To fit, to fit in, the in there. Uh, but, no, that made me happy. Also, like, all the New Year's stuff. I uh, went out with or went to a friend's house on New Year's Eve and played some games uh somehow it always devolves into playing jackbox games yeah uh, i don't know why or how but like that always ends up happening mm -hmm. and like that was a pretty fun crowd to do that with doodling on like the phone and it was late enough and I was what's like, your best jackbox game what are you the best at simeon oh, what'd you win man. i guess i could say did you win any of the jackpot games this was like jackbox like 17 or something like, so oh, I, I don't even what are they at nine yeah ten something like that maybe I think they're at really 10. i didn't even know they're that. a big number yeah i remember playing that when it like first came out yeah and yeah every now and then at parties like but i've only ever seen i think like the first few yeah so i know yeah. i used to play it on like my ps3 very rarely but i don't even remember half of like the games that like you can play the one that i probably had the most fun playing because i don't know if i actually wanted to it was like this design a t-shirt oh tko yeah that's also my favorite i love tko that was pretty that's fun. a good one because it gives you like random prompts or it gives you, you like in, you yeah. other players input the prompts but yeah, it gives you those ones randomly and then, and then it gives you like some yeah, random you get to like select when everything everyone's, everyone's like submitted their drawings and their like phrases you then get to combine a random drawing or like selection of drawings and a selection of phrases randomly grabbed from like whoever submitted oh, them. Okay. So you'll have a picture that doesn't make any sense and then like a phrase that doesn't make any sense. Or sometimes they go together like suspiciously good. And so yeah, that one, I, I could not repeat any of the phrases. No, that, uh, I believe that you can. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. I did. I did. Did you ever buy a TKO t-shirt? No, I did that with one person, and I I should get up and show it to you guys. Let me actually. I'm gonna leave the studio right now. I'm gonna show you That's my TKO T-shirt marketing part yeah. to be able to buy the shirt. I mean, the one That's image crazy, was actually hilarious. I mean, most the of the images, images are hilariously bad because you're trying to do it on your phone. <laughs> but the one was just like absolutely like child, like better than stick figure, but just like somehow <laughs> still. Worse than stick figure kind of drawing. So this shirt, I got this uh, like a year ago, almost a year ago today. And this is a, uh, I made it into a cutoff because I think it's really funny to wear to the gym. And it's hilarious. Fun fact, Ian, this shirt was delivered to our neighbor. And then she opened the package, left us a note and oh, said, no. hey, this accidentally got delivered here. Here you go. So here's, oh, here's, no. here's what it is. It's Buff Mario. And then the, the text is Mario movie. <laughs> Someone drew this on like their phone, man. It's the wow. that's they pretty changed, impressive. They honestly. changed colors four times. I know, right? Wow. So it's both the pecs. The pecs look pretty good. Yeah. I don't know what that thing is like from coming above his shoulder and ear. That's like stars. Those two lines. Those star effects, right? Yeah, but it's not um, like this. Like, yeah. What is? Uh, it? He's walking down a road, maybe. I, I don't... Yeah, that's a good guess. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go with road. Yeah, that is weird. Take road Mario for five hundred. So. All right, well, Mario movie. You we wore you these. paid money for that. We wore these <laughs> Mario movie. Me and this, me and this person. It's no Top Goon, and it was no, it's no Top Goon. But I was like, wow, I did get complimented on my Top Goon shirt. Oh, did you really? Yeah. You did rock the Top Goon yeah. there. Nice. <laughs> I, yeah, I wore that to. Uh, I, I can't remember the Indian restaurant, restaurant that I mentioned in the last podcast, podcast and uh, the people, people I went with. One of them thought that it was just a Top Gun shirt until somebody complimented. Like, like that's funny. Nice. And I was like, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone noticed it. So nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. We're going to jump into the show here really quickly by doing Hujibo's thread. He likes to do the top 10 hero clicks every single year. This is on HC Realms. He finally has the winners. He's got a bunch of really cool math. So 106 people contributed with over 1,059 votes. 
for 295 individual game pieces. So pretty cool. Uh, I'll read off the percentages quick because they are kind of fun. So Batman team up had 18.13% of the votes. Spider-Man Beyond Amazing had 17.9%. Wheels of Vengeance had 16.62%. Notorious had 15.96%. Avengers 60th had 13.88%. The Iconics had 9.63%. LE's 7.65%. Guardians Calendar 0.66%. And the 2024 starters had 0.38%. So the highest percentage vote uh, for figures overall was Batman Team Up, which is pretty cool. He's do he does like a top 20. So in a six way tie for 15th place, this is 15 through 20, is Zodder Sanan, Super Spider Man, Scrappy Doo, the Rare Martian Manhunter, Dr. Octopus. And Carnage Silver Surfer. Any thoughts so far, guys, about them being in the top 20? Surprise, Carnage Silver, Silver Surfer's lower and also like on the same level as these other figures that like I just wouldn't really think of as like a because the this is the like top 20 of votes, but this is like made it the list because they were in somebody's top 10. Right. So yeah, like I really like that Martian Manhunter. Honestly. The Spider-Man was, he made my top 10. Scrappy also made my top 10. I love that Martian Manhunter too. Doc Ock is a really flavorful villain. I think that's, I think that's the, best the best way they've, they've ever done, done him. That's one of my I favorite agree. ways they've done it, yeah. And Carnage Silver Surfer, I think we all share uh, our feelings on him. Yep. Yeah. I think I'd, I would probably yep. put Zodder so Zanon fat. in my top 10 like, had I pulled one. Yeah. But the fact that I didn't, oh, now I that I'm probably won't finally getting one, I feel like oh, they yeah. are going to go up for I me now that I get to play up a nice Zodder 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 to play that team. I do want to talk about that at some point. Just a little So 12th through 14th. So this is 12, 13, and 14. Uh, we have, so 14 is Poison Ivy. 13 is Captain America. And then 12th is the rare Aquaman. I think these are all pretty fitting. I think people are really big on that Poison Ivy. Uh, I obviously great voted for Captain America. He was not, not my number one. So he got 13th this year. And then this Aquaman, he is like a favorite of mine. I didn't vote for him, but I do think this is like the best Aqu the most accurate Aquaman they've ever made. I love this Aquaman. I think it's awesome. He's so really good. I can't really hate on the placement for any of these characters. Maybe I could even say they should be higher. Honestly. Good sculpt. The water train great generation sculpt, is a lot dude. of fun. Mm -hmm. Poison Ivy is a great offensive piece. Great sculpt. And then Cap, we've said all we need to I say. Talk about. <laughs> that, that Poison Ivy and Aquaman are also both really interesting pulp pieces. They yeah. really are. Yeah. So 11th place... Barely missing top 10. 13 votes is the super rare Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. He Crazy almost made my list, man. He's Crazy. Close. Had I gotten him earlier, I think he might have been my it. number 10. Yeah, I have one. I think the only reason why he hasn't, like, didn't even, like, enter the chat for my opinions on it was I haven't played mine yet. Yeah, so, that's either, so yeah. Fair. yeah, I traded for him. I've built and... with him so much, though. I've built with him so, so, so much. And that's I've why built him a lot, too. I need to get one. He was like, almost on the list. And here we are. Top 10. So here we have the first three. So number 10 is the 056, the fanboy dial Spider-Man. This seems pretty fair. Fair. In the list, honestly. This don't love it. Fair. Don't hate it. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. fair. But it's fair. The ninth figure is the Penguin, who I think, I feel like he's surprising, but I know you're big no on him. No way, Ian. dude. This, is, this was like, uh, actually was my number nine vote. Yeah? Yeah, so on the money for this one, which, uh, I mean, well, as far as opinion goes, whatever that's worth. No, I mean, this is one of the best sculpts. It is an amazing. It really so is good. an amazing. I just didn't know they're a big Penguin. Penguin you don't even have to be there. a big Penguin fan to enjoy this. Sure. I think, so, yeah, bad villain. His playability cool is sculpt. incredible. Cool sculpt. Yeah, yeah. and then the I didn't know he fly. Like, yeah. It's funny, actually. He's a team I player, too. I didn't realize he was a flyer. He's his, a flyer and his big he, uh, umbrella. That's funny. Brings in goons. He gives out, like, does bring in goons. One of the, the few goon powers. generators, besides other goons. I mean, one of the coolest combos you can do with him. Like, what I like about Penguin is you can explore so many combos that aren't necessarily possible outside of him. Like, carrying Penguin next to somebody who's locked in with your opponent and then having him take a free action to give them poison and then they poison your opponent, you essentially have, a, like, you know, a mobile poison. Yeah. A little bit. Things like that. I love when characters create new combos, and that's why I like that AV60 Spider-Man so much. Yeah. It's because he creates new things like that. So that's why, to me, Penguin is so good. And the sculpt helps. Okay. That's pretty fair. Uh, so coming in at eighth place, we have Orb. Orb didn't make my, I don't think he made any of our no. lists, but he's really funny. Yeah. 
he is a really funny character. It's the first time he's made, which is really cool. And I'm I'm excited to play him. I just no, I just haven't yet. I don't I have much to say on or I think his dial, it's really impressive that he was yeah. above certain characters on this list, honestly. I'm really impressed. I think Orb's just Considering got a little bit it's of a the newest set. Cult following. Yeah. People probably some, haven't played him that much. Some recency bias with Orb, but yeah. I would not uh, have pegged him for eight, though. No, no chance. dude, it's no wild. Chance. It's super no. wild. Especially when you think like Zodder Sana and all these other characters are like yeah. not in top ten. Uh, number seven is going to go to Capwolf. I really feel like it's the sculpt and just the playability. And honestly, Legacy Hulk are pushing Capwolf higher than he probably should be. Um, but I love, I do, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Cap Wolf, so it's cool to see him this high up. Yeah. Honestly, it's really cool that there's like three Captain Americas, for me anyways, that are in the I top think, 20. I'm really big on that. I think it's kind of similar to Penguin, where the the building for Cap Wolf is really interesting. And he's it's fringe competitive. There's a lot of cool things you can do with him. I think he's relatively unexplored, but yeah, I mean, the sculpt is incredible. The sculpt's amazing. Maybe our, our preview helped out. With I feel like, I honestly it. feel like our preview did. I <laughs> honestly do, dude. When a figure oh, gets introduced to you and it's that cool, it's like, whoa. A little uh, background story on that very quickly. I stayed up really late making that, and then uh, Premiere shut down and deleted all of it, and I had to remake all of it. Nice. That and it was awful. it was brutal. It yeah. was so bad. But then when it came out the next day, I like didn't even care. I was so happy. <laughs> he's really cool to me because he's fringe meta, but you could also play him casually just by like not using legacy hulk i guess is the way to do that Definitely. like yeah. any other monster uh and he becomes like a really fun casual piece and i don't think anyone's upset if you get hit like 12 for four it's like yeah you don't want to get hit like that but no. uh, it's 90 points though yeah, which 90 is points. a lot it's, today's it does game. feel balanced honestly for how many yeah. points he is fifth through the sixth so number six and our final steve on the list is prime captain america I'm not as big on this piece as a lot of other people are, but for a lot of people, he is like the version of Captain America that's ever been made. So it's really cool to see him up on this list. It's dope. And then fifth place. I mean, the cap, it is like, I well, I'll talk about Batman in a sec. That okay. cap, the no you move trait on Captain America. I feel like that's very much that comic. I feel like this is Civil War Captain America. Absolutely. Dude, that is, you know. That's like one. Of, I think that might actually be the coolest ability they've ever given a Captain America. I really, yeah, I really think like I probably that. agree with you there. That is probably one of the coolest traits he's ever had. Like that is such yeah. a it's the not no even necessarily move. like what he does. It's like it's what he is. It's what he is. That's true. The Which is very the cool representation of an ideology in hero clicks. Is, yeah, that that's is pretty awesome. Neat. Yeah. Man. So but he's a prime and that's all my, my, my only are. my only problem with him is i just don't like the whole leadership willpower healing captain america has never been like yeah you go to the left and i'll go to the right and he's like wow i feel healthier because you've led me so well <laughs> that just doesn't make that's never Get up soldier yeah he does that something but that's like that. not like his it's not like he's giving you an antibiotic or yeah. it's like giving you a little ointment or something like here's a band-aid you know <laughs> yeah. drink this and then cap shield is just like I think the no you move is the best trait. The other two traits I think could totally change. I think Cap yeah. Shield, I still we still don't have a true bounce mechanic that I want for Cap Shield, which we'll probably never get. Kind of crazy that I know it's so sad. We don't yeah. have one where it's like, you know, target a, a blocking wall and then off of that. Hawkeye got else. that before he I did. know. <laughs> Literally <laughs> Hawkeye, I believe it was the Avengers movie set. Yeah, he had shoot around a corner or whatever. Yeah. Or, this guy's uh, curving arrows. Curving arrows. That was AI. Before a shield set. is bouncing. I know, dude. It's, it's oh. a shame. I also another Hawkeye ability, the running shot. I wish Captain America had that, but just it bounces off constantly mm. until it a like, Jason comes Wingard back to mind control, but with a shield. But it's with a shield bouncing. Yeah. It'd be great. It could be lock damage too. I don't care. <laughs> uh and then fifth place is Azriel. How do you feel about Azriel? He comes back after a long time, old Jean Paul Valley. Well, I know that fit. uh I know that Simeon and I both love this character. We mm. both share an affinity for the action figures we had as children. Oh, yeah. I actually like, he does just look like a dope action figure. Like, he won, yeah, this dude. sculpt itself, like yeah, there I have that like what is it? Not three and a half inch, it'd be like a six inch figure. Or what I did have mm, yeah. that bad the one with like that scale. Sort of outfit. Like, if you told me that this character was made solely to sell toys, yeah, I believe that totally. I, I really, yeah, but he was in regardless of how you feel about this dial, like the sculpt is like 10 out of 10, like best sculpt of the year material. And this character desperately needed an update from the crisis version. I think they did him pretty well. The leap climb top dial is kind of like eh. But, but the, the fact, fact that he can do free damage every turn at the end of your turn, like being able to place hindering and it does damage at the end of your turn rather than the beginning is super, super nice. So that alone, like I think he's a playable uh, character. I haven't played with him a ton, but 
when I have, I've enjoyed it. So I think he was great. Yeah. And getting I into it. Didn't expect him to be that high on the list. But no, I didn't either. I I am not surprised that he is on the list. No. We're about to hit triple DC here. So in fourth mm. place, we have Space Ghost. I feel like he was bound to get cracked into the top ten, just being like People such have a been fan asking favorite. For Twenty yeah. years, man. Yeah. Like that that alone there you go way too fitting and then third place i love that old doomsday got third place you know dude just like he's the best part of the superman iconics how many people are like okay oh, buy it slapping that take doomsday stop don't <laughs> oh, ah it's like a Kira <laughs> meme ah, don't say it ah but like this doomsday people are like buy the superman iconics take doomsday out all right who wants the super folk who yeah, wants the Krypton I'll, losers, you know, yeah. get them out of here. That's exactly what you did, too. I mean, you're like, yeah, I don't want, he's like, you guys can have the rest of everything else. I, I want, want the Doomsday. Doomsday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have them. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I've seen so, like, quite Doomsday, a few sales my posts for that where it's, I got the one thing for, that I wanted from it. But yeah, I wonder if there's a guy the out there who's like, I just don't want the Doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. There's probably somebody that like bought the rest of them. He's like, ooh, he, he killed Superman. That's not very nice of you, Doomsday. I want my super people. And then the sat, and then that's I want to keep him safe. Yeah, I want to keep him safe. Ooh. <laughs> so worried. Like, oh. And then uh, another person who's just, again, a villain who's, this one's a little more ooh, intense. This than is Doomsday. no surprise to me. But yeah, number two is Bane. No the second best figure all. of the year for votes, 28 votes. Bane just annihilating, breaking Batman's back. They cracked. Like, it's amazing. The best Bane mechanic we've ever seen in the game. Uh, an iconic sculpt fitting. It's iconics, but yeah. Just wow. I mean, this, this figure, figure is so fun to play. It's so thematic. It's a great display piece. It comes in, I think, the best iconic set that's been released so far at a good price tag, too. Like, yeah. there's just nothing. That beats like Nightfall as a whole for me. Like that was my favorite thing the entire year, no question. And this figure is well deserving, I think, of top two. I mean, I hope that somebody figures out a way to like play him in tournament. He's got the brute keyword. Maybe you can work out something with Dark Phoenix. True. I don't know, but I really, really, really like this Bane. Surprisingly, though, uh, I forgot about him when I was voting for my top. Did you 10. not? Oh man, five of my top ten were Batman. There were Fair so enough. many Batman this year, and then the other five, I had to narrow it down from like twenty five other things. So yeah. it was uh, it was tough for me. That's fair. And then number one, <laughs> sat, ugh, ugh, number one is my least favorite figure of the year. I hate him, um, but you know what? Most people are a big fan of this guy, so I get it. They've wanted a playable, competitive one for a while. I literally can't remember the last time True Blue Peter Parker Spider Man has ever been competitive. <laughs> Honestly, it's been forever so fine for all the fans there's a ton of you out there that like this dude even though right i here. feel i uh, i feel more so j jonah jameson about him i think he's a menace and he is he is a menace though by the way but 043 prime spider-man black symbiote spidey is uh he is your figure of the year i guess <laughs> Man, I, you guys can talk about him or whatever but how yeah many- Oh, I mean, I think everyone knows what he does. Yeah. He's in the world's videos. No, go through his whole dial. Okay. No, not that. It's well, been a while since we've. Really no, it really him isn't that. a shocker. He won our figure of the year, sadly, as well. So it really isn't a. Really isn't. No, he didn't win figure of the year. He won best main attacker. That's right. Yeah. The figure of the year was Carnage Silver Surfer. Surfer? Yeah. Oh, gosh. By, like, just my memory. My memory fails me. You. I, I think Prime Spider Man <laughs> is. I really like his story because what it started out as was people were that brushing him cool. off. That's probably the coolest part. And the way I was talking about him was, I'll try and make him work, maybe, I guess. But in my head, I'm like, there's no way he's that good. Play him once at uh, Dragon's Lair. And I was like, this is like insane. Just killing things every turn, healing from the symbiote. It was it was a blast. <laughs> he is so fun to play. Like, I know Calder... He's not fun to play against, no. I guess. No, he's not. No. Sometimes it's not fun at all. What's that weird is the like, he's fun not the that game. different from like doppelganger. He's not that different from I a guess lot mobility. Of I guess fundamentally. Yeah, the, there's a lot of like triple attacker, like kind of like characters out, out there, there, which at the end of the day, that's like primarily what he's doing. But yeah, like the mobility being able to zap, like zap backwards I mean, after he attacks. It's like it's like really a close combat version of Punisher War Machine. Yeah, it is so really and Punisher War Machine was very similar. the most yeah, fun the figures to play stamina like, period. And all that stuff. Yeah, the double token free attack. Mm-hmm. So it's like that in a similar light. And I tried to make Punisher War Machine work so much I mean, after the did. 
Well, that was during the 1776. True. Before his pre rata So true, true, true. And so it was actually that was like probably the best team to play into that team. Like the best odds you had against that team was in a mere match, <laughs> which was insane. That's a bad era of HeroClix, guys. At least competitively. And it was only like four months. Whatever. It was pretty Spider-Man well. was uh he was he's great. I think he's a great choice for figure of the year. I think a lot of people had fun with him. Sorry, Calder. <laughs> How many figures from your guys' list for uh the top ten here? actually made the uh, top 20 that Hujibo. Oh, so I had Bane was my number four. Um, so I got him. And then I think the only other figure that I had on my list that made this one was the Avengers 60th Spider-Man. And I had that as like my eight or nine. And he got, I guess, technically like tied for, or no, not tied for. Um, he was 14th in the top 20 of this. Yeah, mine mine were all pretty low too. I had the AV60 Spider-Man as well. I had Scrappy Doo. I think he was number like 5 for me. Maybe 6. Uh I had Penguin on the list at number 9. And I also had I had Black Suit Spider-Man too. I think he was number like 7 or 8 maybe. Anything that wasn't Batman was above five. <laughs> I do know that. I'm surprised. I think the biggest one for me was No World's Finest on this list. Yeah. He won and favorite he legacy card in the Clixies. People loved playing him. So that I is, thought that he could crack the list, but I guess not. That's one of the few things that is weird about this list is not a single legacy figure in the top 20. That is. I mean. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. Because I because this was like mine. probably the best year for legacy cards ever. It I could see really people not wanting to vote for them, though. Like, oh, I want to vote for like figures this year rather yeah. than. That's fa- I know it's fair. It's, you know, it is a not like a reused sculpt, but it's like the same sculpt and dial that already came out. Like where whenever uh, some of them can be card. harder to get to. So probably less likely that. You know, newer players have them, maybe. And I think there's a few factors that uh, kind of contribute into why people would or wouldn't. Primarily wouldn't. Man, looking at these, also looking at, like, the the previous winners, there's somewhere it's like, didn't, like, something else come out that year? Like, a 2016 handstand Spidey, I think. Great choice. Yeah. That is the winner of that year, so that, that makes sense. sense. That That's like the iconic Spider-Man of that year. 2017, though, King Shark from the Harley Quinn set. Oh, it's bad. bad. Really? Terrible. Yeah. Which None I, of the gods of Apocalypse I, one? That's weird. To be fair, I loved that King Shark. I tried to make him work all the time. I thought People it was hilarious. Did. Like, that, what was it? Like a full movement if he was you in water. You could move as free yeah, and if he had you were like in flurry water. on part of his dial. Yeah, ten, so. 10 move flurry with like four damage. Yeah. He was a beast. 2018 made plenty of sense. That was the uh, Super Wolverine. Yeah, from um, defined X-Men, the game. Xavier, School. he was legitimately the currency for Hero Clicks for yeah. like a year. He really, yeah, he really was. His no ID kidding. card could get you like eighty dollars, and then each of those oh, were going. For I like... sold one for a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, and uh, I pulled it at like the peak. Like I pulled a just you know a bum rare pack. It's like ah oh, brother, and then I look and I saw the ID card. I was like. Oh. Such a good pull. Uh, 2019 was Dark Phoenix uh, set Juggernaut. I mean, really? I guess you can see a fan favorite. It's like the best version of Juggernaut they ever to made, be fair, honestly. Yeah. Cool character, cool sculpt. And then it is, yeah, just super long dial, really good Juggernaut. But it is wild because, like... That's surprising. I don't even think he's the best figure in that set. Like, personally, he's not, like, for me. He's not my favorite either. Jason no. Wingard's best figure in that set. Maybe Wendigo. Absolutely. Mm, Wendigo. Uh, yeah, 2020, we mentioned this before we started recording. Yeah, only but, three uh, of my votes made top 20. The Prime Cap, the Horse Cap, and then Doomsday. That's pretty good, That's I guess. Good, That's pretty good. Yeah, 3 out of 10 is pretty good. I, I couldn't remember. I think I did give Aquaman like an honorable mention here. So I guess, meh, that doesn't count. But yeah, cool. I wasted too many votes on like my personal like building. I sh- I shouldn't say wasted them because they were still my votes, but like it was what I built with, not necessarily like what I thought was like the best thing that year. It was like yeah, I think that's kind of what the that's what it is, you know. But the list is arbitrary. Though, yeah. yeah, 
But like, I mean, yeah, objectively, I always do it as like my top ten favorite figures of the year is how I always yeah. vote. You know, I, who was twenty like, twenty's winner? Uh, Sorry, twenty twenty. That was uh, the Doom from the Fantastic Four Cosmic Clash. I think that that's. I think that's fine. I don't Honestly, know why. Is might, that I guess that might be fair. I don't think it's it's the return of Doctor Doom. It was the return of like Fantastic Four mm -hmm. and everything involved with that. Great yeah. sculpt, accessible. Yeah, it came with some great maps too. I know that doesn't really count towards the figure. He He's... was fun to play though, and he was playable at all of his lines. Like one hundred, he was reasonably like fringe, and then three hundred, he was just a lot of fun. And two hundred, I guess. Eh, I mean, you could probably make it work. <laughs> I never tried. Yeah. I think for me, the only reason why it's weird is like he's not from a full set. He's not from like an actual like five a traditional yeah, set. release. Yeah. And I don't know. I just remember there being like better stuff that came out in 20 or more memorable stuff to me. I think Silver Surfer might have been the one that I put at number one that year. I really like that Silver Surfer from Fantastic Four. Or maybe that's probably not 2020, is it? That is 2020. Yeah. So that's the same year Cosmic Clash yeah, came out. Cosmic Clash came out first, but then oh, that's Fantastic right. yep, Four came yep. out like right after. Twenty twenty one. This is a this is an abomination that he was the best Just, figure, dude. Not even again, not even the best figure in that set. I no. don't think Felix Faust from Wonder Woman 80th. I know, yeah. right? Him, he was the best figure of twenty twenty one. I mean, he's fun, but it's like it's Felix Faust. Well, he yeah. was on a ton of teams and stuff, but like. Yeah, like I, I can't believe who is that this guy. Scarab, you know, uh, if that's anybody's favorite, Sky Tyrant, Sky bro, Tyrant, like Sky Tyrant, Commissioner, sculpt, way Commissioner, more, like, crazy. You could say any Black, lanterns, Green Lantern, Green Lantern. Guy I know Gardner. I voted for both of them. Oh, absolutely. No, Green Lantern was hundred percent on my list that year. Ian, do you know what won in twenty twenty two? Uh twenty twenty two winner. I actually, I think I voted for Time Platform Doom, or no, he was twenty twenty one. He was. He was twenty twenty one. Yeah, I I don't even know who I voted for. So no, who was it? <laughs> it was the Gamma Clap Hulk. I don't agree with that either. I think it, cool sculpt. It was. I think one of the very first like. I think it really comes down to people that are big fans. Yeah, it's like the fanboy dial the style. The people are like, this is like the whatever. best Hulk. <laughs> you know, I think that's what it kind of becomes. Fine figure. I just I've never been a big Hulk guy. He's like he in my mind he's a character who's like cool. He's yeah. got some good solo storylines. He's just Hulk's never here. been my favorite. He's just never been like my guy, you know. But I think for the age demographic of Heroclix, I think it makes sense why Hulk yeah. would win a vote like that. Honestly. It's a fair winner, but for me, it's like that doesn't even crack like probably my top 20. Oh, not at all that year. No, absolutely not. But fair enough. Weird that Arachnite that, was my vote, duh. That one won for number one, I say, yeah. But the. Uh, Gosh, not Invincible, the whatever. Immortal the, Hulk? Immortal Hulk. It's weird that he didn't, didn't win, win in 2020, in 2020 then, right? Yeah. PS4 he's... Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Both those and figures were like that. When I think of Captain America and Avengers, those are the two I think of two think characters that shouldn't have been in that set. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> that that is interesting. The Immortal <laughs> Spider Man. It's hilarious. Yeah. And PS4 Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and PS4 Hulk. Uh, yeah. Side tangent there. They should remake those Hulk games. For like PS2 oh, and you GameCube. destroy oh, everything. Where you like, turn yeah. like cars into boxing gloves. Yeah, and... yeah dude, dude. Oh, I would wow. love to see a remake of those, but that's beside right. the point. That's the top 20 hero hooks of 2023. I want to go ahead and go on over to flipping through the magazine aisle. You pick up a little thing called the Game Trade Magazine. And what have we here? Classic Game Trade Magazine moment. We have terrible pictures. Uh, and so we're going to go on to coded, coded dials, dude. That was like an in joke between Sumi and I, but it always felt like whenever anyone posted anything from Game Trade magazine, they would take their phone and just have a like, seizure really quick and like try to take like, a picture. Yeah, they were like shaking with excitement oh, to try oh, and post a new, it. A new hero clips figure. <laughs> and they would just shake like crazy because every Game Trade magazine picture like is horrible. Whenever there's just like holding it out of a car window, well, trying to take a picture. I was like, do people like no one realizes that like scanners exist? But technically, like as soon as it's out there and somebody's got like you know released it. No one else cares to like bother no, getting better quality no, pictures or don't. anything. So that's fair. So we have two figures from the next phase Disney Plus set. Um, we we don't have the full abilities for the Lucky for Lucky the Pizza Dog, but uh, we do have them all for Baby Groot. Do you guys want to talk about these figures? Does anybody in particular? Yeah, I'll like take call? I'll take over Baby Groot right on. Uh, for one specific reason, guys, he's got the pirate keyboard. Ooh. So Baby Groot, Yarp. 014, that's presumably a common, maybe on the cusp of an uncommon. 
He's got Guardians of the Galaxy, Ravagers, Pirate, and Cosmic, which is another kind of interesting one for Groot. And then he has Shifting Focus, I Am Groot. Free. If Baby Groot began your turn on the map, replace him with another character with his trade on same click number. So standard Shifting Focus for Groot. Uh, that is interesting. I should also mention he also has the uh, Guardians team ability. But yeah, Shifting Focus for Groot is an interesting choice. And then he's got another special, his entire dial. It's the same power set across the board. Causing Mischief. Free. Choose one. Generate a hindering terrain marker. Destroy all adjacent standard terrain markers. So as a free action, being able to just light up barrier, that seems really solid. And if he gets other Shifting Focus options, this might be pretty good. Across the dial, he is 6, 10, 18, 2 with Leap Climb, Special, Willpower, and Power. Those powers don't change. And he drops to 5, 10, 17, 2 on click 4 and click 5, KO'd on 6. So for 40 points, I actually really like this. Being able to generate hindering on turns where you're not going in and being able to just drop him and just blow up your opponent's defense and then switch into possibly a better Groot who can maybe attack or outwit or perplex, you know, whatever it be. I think this is pretty promising for a shifting focus piece. Like, this is already a lot of utility. He's also tiny size, which is a yeah. benefit. I assume they would all probably be more than likely unless we get like a big shifting Maybe we get like Groot. Um, but they all... They're all going to all have to be 40 points. 40 yeah. points is a good economic line in this game. Yeah. Five flicks slide. Really basic, I mean, but it's simple. a good ability. It really is. And if they're I all like that. power with it, too, which is super nice. So A drop kind of staple depends. figure is what I see. With yeah, this. you could start with him. If there was one that had like a free attack or some kind of poison or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know what Groot's going to do. but It's weird that he's shifting could. focus. It's really it is deep. weird that he's shifting focus. But I guess really strange. the idea is that the I am Groot shorts are all a very different scenario for Groot each time. Oh, so, okay. Mm, I'll take... I'm just glad to see more shifting focus. It's been a few sets since we had a shifting focus piece, hasn't it? Thor was the Masters the last of one. Evil are like the most technically yeah, shifting yeah, focus. Shifting of the focus. Of but yeah, I think Thor was the last one to have a shifting focus, like straight up <laughs> shifting focus piece. So it's always good to see that shifting focus is staying alive in the game. It's like one of the coolest mechanics. It is, man. Really in the game. So it's yeah. really sick. Uh, Samin, you want to talk about that dog? Can I bet that dog? Yeah, yeah, so geez. this is our first misprint of the set, it looks like. Um, yeah. Just because, well, I guess we don't know for sure. But. I feel, so the Game Trade Magazine pictures don't have any pictures of the back of these characters' yeah. cards. So I just feel like that's on the back of the card or something. I don't yeah. I don't know what's up with this. But yeah, it's listed ahead, as a trait. Right. Um, so we, we don't get to see like the actual dial or anything. If we did, well, we, we see, see the, the dial. dial. I mean, like, like the, the physical, physical dial. dial. We, we would know, know if like there's an actual trait, trait or not, but there's a trait that's listed called Pizza Retriever. Lucky, of course, being the one-eyed dog from the uh, Hawkeye show and also from the Matt Fraction Hawkeye series that was critically acclaimed. Very good series. Uh, Lucky has the Marksman, Animal, and Martial Artist keywords. It's unique. Uh, number 041 in the set. And the trait is Pizza Retriever. At the beginning of the game, generate a pizza object. And then the rest of the trait is when a friendly character would use a the trick arrow equipment before revealing this card or the card, you may roll a d6 on a four through six, shuffle a friendly used trick arrow card into that character's unused trick arrow cards and set them face down. So we don't know what trick arrows do. We don't know how good this is going to be. Um, apparently, you use them and this lets you unuse it. From basically the wording uh it's really interesting using that. the word shuffle there yeah. because if you're using the trick arrow are you shuffling them can you look at them while you shuffle them well it sounds like a or is a trick arrow gonna be like random like pop off the top like it, i don't know it depends on what kind of mechanic it's like because you shuffle the uh tarot deck whenever you get to the end of that at the end yeah sure. but you also don't put those in like a used pile no so it's kind of weird there's like a used pile you use one. Oh, cool that's what it is yeah. and so then you, you're you definitely have multiples here yeah and then you're like okay whichever my other ones are maybe i can narrow that down but now it's like well instead of being able to thin your deck you can just take that back and shuffle it in with that i mean that might use the trick arrow equipment and then it says used trick arrow cart. Hmm. So there is both a trick arrow equipment 
and a trick arrow card. Presumably, those things work together. Kate Bishop's and are gonna the go same nuts. Thing. She loves yeah. trick arrow. She's gonna be I'm like, a, "Wow!" A fifty-fifty. You get to unuse a card that is attached to the equip. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's I really no um, a it's, really interesting first thing to see. It's very confusing yeah, when you I don't really know what an equipment is. What maybe it does. instead of a common group, we had seen the. Uh, the equipment. Yeah, Game Trade Magazine made some bad choices and what they were going to show off here is <laughs> yeah. very Regardless, I'm very excited about I this. am too. I think this is really cool. But it's hard to gauge Lucky as a figure when you have no clue what any yeah. of this means. Well, and that's that's where like the rest of the dial. So Lucky is only 20 points, four cl or three clicks long, sorry. Uh, four speed with plasticity, standard size with enhancement, one damage, eight attack, no attack power, and then it shows a special defense power, but we don't see a special defense on the card. We don't have the back of the card. So if there's a special defense, maybe this is worth 20 points. That doesn't seem like it would be a defense power, but because no. we don't see the defense, I feel like they could have listed it. I feel like it's got to be some kind of super sense. Another animal two here, here guys. A lot, maybe. So we have mastermind generate mastermind. a pizza object, a trick oh, arrow yeah. equipment. And a trick arrow card. That's the other thing. Nothing. We well, don't know what any of these. Unless, the pizza unless object the defense, does either. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Unless the defense interacts with the pizza object. Oh, there you go. That just makes like a apparently just makes an object at the beginning of the game. Like I would guess if it's pizza, some kind of healing. Yeah, probably. Maybe. If it like has well, not it could be on the back of the card where the object has like its own stat value. Oh, or sure. Like other people have pizza stuff. Yeah, there could be a lot of stuff going on with this, but yeah, just looking at the front of the card, I don't think it's a misprint, but it, uh, we have no way of knowing right now because yeah, we have a special power that's not shown, and we have a trait. I that miss is when shown. all the special powers are always on the front. Yeah. I really <laughs> miss that. Put the dial back on the back. I miss the special powers being on the front. My uh, biggest thing I want to say about Lucky is that I can't wait to play him with a Dale Suderman from Elseworlds on an oh Airbud Air theme team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Painted jersey on the dog. Painted jersey on the dog. Yeah. I'll probably put him in a, a little... Mm, let's see. If he, well, if he's retreating Dale arrows, Simmons, if he has the marks blue and keyword, he's red, yeah. You guys, so yeah, another thing you're talking about Ray like, Allen jersey guys for basketball oh, watchers out there. He's a shooter, elite three point shooter. Oh, elite three point shooter. Okay, <laughs> for sure. Whatever that means. Um, I feel like score. I feel like marksman on the dog is like the dog is obviously not pulling up. Like, yo, check out the bow and arrow. No. But it's like probably no rule that says he can't. There's no rule. There's no rule in basketball. It's no rule dog that can't says play. This dog can't be a martial artist. There's no rule that dog can't compete in the archery tournament. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's probably just so like Lucky or Kate and uh, Hawkeye are probably in this set, and they're probably gonna have marksmen since we saw a marksmen. I mean, I'd be Arsenal. very surprised if There's, Hawkeye I mean, and Kate were if like, they weren't marksmen. If the they made was, Lucky, but not yeah, <laughs> not pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> or the trick uh, arrows; those don't exist either. <laughs> no, they're, they're just mentioned. Now let's go ahead and talk about Adepticon here, ladies and gentlemen. We saw... I've never heard of Adepticon in my entire life. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, I have no. no idea. It's been here for 80 million years or something. It's it's in <laughs> Schaum, really? Schaumburg, Illinois. It's going to happen March 20th through the 24th. And listen, you're like, why do I care what's happening in Schaumburg, Illinois, March 20th through the 24th? I'll tell you why, listener. It is because there are going to be Heroclix events here. This is going to be the first official WizKids Heroclix event of 2024. And they've got some pretty cool tournaments that they detail out below. So they have the full link and event schedule here. You search for Heroclix, blah, blah, blah. But here's what they're going to be doing. Heroclix Learn to Play, Heroclix Battle Royales, a Heroclix Supercharged Sealed. Ooh, ah, what could that mean? And then there's the Adepticon 2024 Heroclix Championship. So I'm just going to run right down. We'll talk about the Battle Royales really quick. So Steel Booster, $20 entry fee. Groups, random groups of four players. They draft their team from four booster packs. At the end of the game, players snake draft the prize pool, and they earn a 2024 convention exclusive limited figure. We're gonna get to those in a minute. Uh, they are looking spicy. They're looking Ooh. good as we roll yeah. by them. Oh, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Supercharged sealed. This is a sealed booster form. By the way, it didn't say what sets are gonna be in battle royales. I'm gonna assume it's next phase because here in sealed it says they're gonna use next phase. So sealed booster is gonna be forty dollar entry. Players are seated in pods of eight, 
and will construct a 400-point team from two Marvel Hero Clicks Next Phase boosters and one Marvel Hero Clicks Disney Plus booster. Oh, Dude. that's awesome. Now, we don't know what's in Next Phase besides Lucky and Groot. But the idea that your Disney Plus booster might have a witch, you know, Agatha Ooh, or Scarlet. That's true. Might have, like, a Sakarian Iron Man, dude. Mm-hmm. There's some spicy stuff that you Vision can really Prime. ball out. Yeah, dude, a Vision oh, Prime. Man. A normal Vision, honestly, that is too. also, He's like, a good retail, and sealed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, a John Walker, a U.S. agent. Mm-hmm. There's all sorts of, like, really spicy good stuff in those boosters, Those figures man. are still fantastic. They're all still so all good. All the uh, spooktaculars. Um, but you're going to be mm-hmm. drafting these boosts. So after three rounds, then players will determine a draft order from the prize pool consisting of 2023 and 2024 LEs added for each player, eight of each full pod. It's really interesting, though, to I do love it. the three boosters sealed, and it's a 400-point team. So I really like this. Honestly, this was like, oh, I want to play in this, yeah. like, really badly. This was, like, a ton of fun. Scroll by the coolest image I've seen in my entire life. Oh, <laughs> And then we'll get to it in a minute, everybody. You have no idea how cool it is. Adepticon 2024, the Hero Clicks Championship. $30 entry fee, Hero Clicks players from the Great Lakes region and all over the world are invited to compete and crown Adepticon 2024 Hero Clicks Champion. I'm curious if this will also have a trophy or a belt or something else cool. I have no idea. Format will be a 300 modern constructed Particip- participation prize for each player and prize pool start at top eight. So, Participation prize for each player and the prize pool start at top eight. So you got to be good to get in this. So prize structure. You will get a participation, a DC Hero Clicks broadsword construct. We scrolled past it earlier. Now we're going to talk about it really quick. This is so weird to me. It's very interesting, isn't it? It's a green construct sword with like a little effect going into what appears to me to be like a meteorite. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Little space the rock. only thing I can think of, because we'll get to another character in a little bit, a sword and a stone could like make sense. Very much so. Very much so. But uh, it's a construct. Well, though. but this is for this, a I'm, I'm thinking more yeah. so for like a reused sculpt. So now I'm curious. Oh, yeah. I'm super curious about this construct. Oh, that's a good though. point. Is this going to be a construct as in construct rules? And we're going to get new constructs for the rings? You know what I mean? Is this going to be like a green lantern? Like it has stats and powers. Sword yeah. construct? Oh, is that what this is? Is, is it going to be a charge like be. exploit construct? Something crazy. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Or is it going to be like equipment for a green lantern? Mm. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like it could be a lot of a few different things, but it's called construct. So I imagine it will have some kind of like qualifying keywords similar to like the lanterns. I mean, it looks like it's it's got construct in the name. It's see through and green. Whether or not it interacts with the rings is really interesting because those are those are going to rotate. It'd be in. that is true. They are going to rotate. But I, I don't know. Yeah. That doesn't around for a while. If it's so gonna maybe be a they twenty twenty four le. Maybe it has like the ability to like maybe it's like power generate this. Mm. So you can still do it without the ring, maybe, because if it functions with the ring, it gives people unless like they the, plan on keeping uh, Batman team up around. Which... Well, well, yeah, Batman yeah. team up, no matter what, will rotate before yeah. this would. So it can't, it can't function with the ring. But I could see them implementing something similar, like you said, Simeon, like the W Wonder Woman eighty trait, to where they can just generate specifically this, and maybe some it additional. Also, effects. be a weird choice to drop lantern constructs because we have what six lantern colors seven i don't know we have uh yeah we've got lantern colors so if they were to drop individually like them as swords like one color at a time that'd be really rough to try and collect you know the orange Mm, one the red one the green one or if they're just going to do a green one maybe it does something that the other ones don't, and they're only going to do green. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. Because well, curious, I haven't been able to collect the Batman team up constructs. Because well, I haven't tried, but I I haven't been able to fill out a set. It would be really, really rough, rough if, if I had to go, go back and like try and get a bunch of convention versions of oh, each geez, of those. That's well. fair. Yeah. But it oh is man, I sure would hate for them to make convention versions of constructs right? that are harder to track down, or some alternate set versions that weren't in the main or set. That lantern would be, batteries. That maybe. would be tough. War of Light. War of Light had constructs that were hard to track down because they made a completely different set. Oh, they did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they had a convention. This guy has you know, top dial the... more like constructs. Well, in the world, <laughs> they don't have top dial. I know. They don't. Nice try. Oh. 
Okay, so what are the top eight going to get? They're going to get one of each 2023 LE, which that's is so, so good. good. Oh. Uh, so that's the Watcher, Thor Gwen, Venom God of Symbiotes, uh, Rainbow, Rainbow Superman, Superman, and, and the Joker. Joker. So good. Top four, and this is why we can start talking about the dopest, coolest figures I've seen in my entire life. Top four, you get one of each 2024 LE. Old King Thor, Iceman, and King Arthur 3000 AD. Oh my gosh. Scrolling back up, scrolling back up, just to, to King Thor. This is pretty cool. We got Destroyer Arm. It's insane to me that this is the least cool thing. I here. know, right? Isn't that crazy? At least in my opinion. He looks amazing. No, I agree with you. He is like the least cool one here, and yet he is still so incredibly amazing. He's Kate, got those King Thor vibes. Yeah, dude. He's got the big, mm -hmm. you know, he's got the the eye missing. He's got the big old beard. He's got the white hair. He's got the cool sword. He's got the destroyer arm. He looks dope. He looks awesome. He's raising it up to the heavens. To when I say King Thor vibes, obviously, because he is that character, but the AB60, like, yeah, he's kind of doing the same thing, raising yeah. it up. But, like, no helmet is kind of interesting here with this Thor. It is. I don't mind it. Then we get an amazing Iceman sculpt. He's gliding on an ice trail. Dude, it's, like, the best way they've done this, honestly, dude. He looks no, it's awesome. not. No, you like team base more? No, the uh, oh well, I meant gliding on the oh, gliding on the oh, news, yeah, not the just the effect. effect. The swirl the effect swirl is in, great, but that's not him. Uncanny that's not him gliding on this. The, uh, this figure looks. Uh, uh, this is a figure where it's like I don't even care what he does. Yeah, I said this about Ultron so Infinity, so there is a potential that I do care. Be careful, He's so bad. Be careful, but man, I don't think that's going to be the case. This Ice Man looks too cool for that to happen. Ooh, you know what I just remembered. This More is going back to the broadsword. I oh. just remembered that uh, Hero Glow Ooh. can be applied oh. to, like, to these. So, like, speculation-wise. That would look so sick. Green Sword That would look glow. so amazing, Ice Man could glow. It wouldn't make sense, but he could. Uh, and then an icy chill glow, like a yeah. white or blue. Man, this Ice Man is just... And then, good. That looks like a thick, like, trail he's dude, standing that's on. That's very thick, dude. This so, yeah, I'm... I'm uh, time to talk about the coolest figure really ever. Sorry, time to talk about the coolest figure ever. <laughs> King Arthur with Excalibur and Excalibur's his gold sword. And King Arthur's got gold freaking snail mail, the uh, the dragon scale mail yeah. for his armor, dude. It looks amazing. He's these bright blue colors, this great red. He's got a cool crown. He's got his beard, his long flowing hair. And he's hitting the, the He-Man, dude, with the sword. So I'm, I have the power. And the sword is making this great glint energy effect right in the middle of it. This is like the dopest, coolest figure. This, I don't know how this figure is not like $200 right away. Because only like four people are getting this figure, right? So it's like... That's, yeah. That's probably going to be like $300 thing. or something. This dude's insane. He looks beautiful. He looks his, his, color, his color selection is truly so it good. It pops. It's so vibrant, dude. I want to play this piece. I don't know. I don't care what it does. It looks amazing, bro. Pulling up with Excalibur on some people? This is awesome. So that's your top four prizing. We're getting a little, a little far ahead of it here. But so top two will each receive a Marvel Hero Clicks Deadpool Weapon X, a Chase retail booster. I can't remember if this is the first time we've heard about these or not, but Disney Plus is having something similar Chase booster, with the yeah. Chase booster uh, cigar box things. So this is one that's going to be same thing. They're going to keep it going into the next set with the Deadpool Weapon X set. They're just going to get a Chase retail booster, which means straight up you're going to get a Chase from Deadpool Weapon X, what it's going to be, um, plus some other cool stuff, like some super rares, I want to say, is what's in the Disney dice. Plus one. I think they the said dice and tokens are going to be in there as well. It's been a while since they talked about it, but yeah, it's... A, it's yeah. I don't care what's in it. I want then, the box. I, yeah, I do the yeah, box. I want That's the box. About. And then first place is going to receive, and by the way, Deadpool Weapon X set is not the next set slated. It's Disney Plus next phase. So this is already crazy. Yeah, and and March, first place, yeah, like how for far, early March. It's, how far away yeah, is that going to be? Like how early? So are next you phase that? is roughly coming out by this time for this tournament. Like this is a few weeks after next phase release. Like a few yeah. weeks after next phase. And then you're going to get first place gets a chase and prime set of the next set. Not the set that's currently out. The next one, which is going to be like three months ish away. It's like June, I want to say. Or is it May for Deadpool up and X? Something like that. I forget it's yeah. release. It's before way, Time it's Masters. Like... But dude, the fact that that's what you get though is the next set's freaking chase prime set. These are also going to be uh, insanely big expensive. payout, and that is a like hats Stop off to WizKids. Dude, that is the best prize that you can give. It is. It's I don't insane. know if there's anything better than not just a Chase Prime set of what's out, but what nobody, nobody has even seen yet. Yeah, yeah, that is, dude. That's no a good kidding. Point, yeah. That's unreal. 
And then first place will also get a qualified for the first round by at a 2024 HeroClix World Championship for Memphis. Well, it doesn't say for Memphis. It just says a 2024 HeroClix World Championship. So this is also <laughs> the first. Yeah. This is also going to be the first time you're going to be able to get qualified or aka first round by, which is we saw in 2022 that gave you a huge edge. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember. I want to say the one of the two if you're people in a that got a first round by 150 points is yeah, it's a good it's, deal it's pretty massive so Not getting bad. that guaranteed w with half points is huge so this is also a great like this first place and prizing being cumulative this is amazing it's like so dumb. I guess, yeah dude, actually i don't know if it says prizing is shooting for top four i mean yeah dude it's all about top i'd be four. very surprised if it wasn't yeah it probably is going to be a cumulative there's no they, they usually always have it that way but uh this is like amazing prizing i absolutely freaking love this so adepticon it's coming up fast it's march 20th through the 24th sounds like a good time uh, will maybe i kind of want to try to go it being only seven hours away via car and then maybe try to get a flight or something i don't know but uh it looks like a great time it really looks like so a great time. for the schedule Ooh, of it we could go to the guys. content creators meet and greet oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> Friday and Saturday, I believe, or is it Saturday, Saturday Sunday, Sunday that are the big, uh, the big dance days? I want to say those. Are the it's big, the last the big two Euro days of the phase. event. But playing BRs with Next Phase sounds like a ton of fun, just because that set's not out yet. I want to play BRs with that set. It sounds great, and it'll like have just come out. Oh if my we gosh, go, we will talk. try and cover everything. I would like to. We will. We'll see. Maybe it works out on that weekend, and we Oop. just take a drive to. What Seansville? Schaumburg. Schaumburg. <laughs> Sorry if you're from Schaumburg. I don't bad. Yeah. <laughs> I like Seanville. <laughs> Seanville. S E A L. Seansville, bro. Seansville. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, Sean. This yo, Ville. But it's a four day event. This yo, house. It starts on what Thursday? It's it 20- starts on uh, Wednesday. The twentieth is a Wednesday, which is kind of oh. interesting. And the 24th is that Sunday. So as of right now, zero tickets sold for uh, mm. Hero Plus Day 1 is March 23rd. Starts at 10 And that's that super seal? Or is that 6 p.m. 300 modern day one? I don't know. They show they only show 32 spots, though. Interesting. And then day two, Hero Plus Day 2. Ah, Supercharged Seal is the 21st. So that's that Thursday is the Supercharged Seal. Oh, oh man. So this is... <sighs> This is like so much fun. Specific. Okay, so they have. Yeah, here we go. Here's the full list of their stuff. Is they have a play. few supercharged seals. This is kind of awesome, actually. They have a few of these running throughout the event. BRs That's pretty dope. Available. Yeah, the supercharged sealed goes for three hours, which is also just a great price, by the way. Forty dollars for two boosters of the latest set and entry into a tournament plus a booster of Disney Plus. So if you just like look at it, it's like $17 a booster. It's like 34, 35 bucks for two boosters anyways, plus another Disney Plus booster and entry to the event. Like that's pretty good. Like, that's a pretty decent price when you get 2023 LEs, 2024 LEs are added for each player. That's like a snake draft pretty much. Like this is pretty dope. I think getting a guaranteed broadsword just for playing that too, dude. I mean, that's great. That's awesome. This is the only place they're going to be available for who knows how long until Nationals? Yeah, because we don't, we don't have a full roadmap for the year. I know people were like kind of making one, which is kind of funny. I saw that online, yeah. but we don't have an official uh, roadmap the, yet. The event that we, I think we can say with like 99% certainty is that Nationals will happen again. More than likely. Be in Indianapolis, and that's in August. More than likely. May to August, or March to August. Jeez, that's a five-month window. Yeah. So it might be that... This is where you can get it. Oh, well, Huntington's maybe will have them as well. Huntington's probably yeah, will. Huntington's didn't have all the 2023 LEs. They so if no. there are ones that come just out for later, auction, just that like couple, yeah, couple just for sections. auction. Um, yeah. yeah. So we'll have to see. But do the people that end up going to Adepticon and are able to make it and play? Might be us. Might be us. We might, might go there us. with a camera and cover it for you guys. Do a little bit. We'll have to look at Adepticon's rules for filming. Yeah, if it works. We'll have to look out. at some stuff. But yeah. yeah. It looks dope, though. It seriously looks like a ton of fun. I love the supercharged seal. I love just battle royales of just either a brand new set or even pre-release set. That's just way too much fun. I just love seeing hero clicks in another event. Like also true. You know, like packs on. I also love how close cool. this one is yeah. to us. I'm a big fan of that. Say, yeah, is this is like the first kind of like bigger Midwest event they've done. I feel like yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. 
So I love yeah. that Heroclix, number one, WizKids growing, stepping out of their origins to, to National, to Gen Con, to Memphis area. You know, they've kind of grown past. Way. And that's it's like, like, it's very just 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 East yeah, Coast. Well, I'm not talking about way. distance or where it's at. I'm talking about the event itself. Oh, sure. PAX is it's like, like, that feels like very much of like a subset. Like, if you're already going to PAX, then you'll probably go check it out. Sure. Going to that, like going to PAX for Hero Clicks, it's like, I don't know if I can do that. Looking at this, I think I can make the justification a lot easier saying, I will go to this event for Hero Clicks. You know, this feels like yeah. a Hero Clicks yeah. event full on. Might also be one of the only events where you can do um, Disney Next Phase BRs. BR. That's true. Like, like, that's like true. Probably or something. Disney Plus BRs too. Who's still doing that? I, one, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to play in a Disney Plus VR. I was going to say, like, I, I have all like all of that set. I own I Alex, opened, so much I of it. a lot of that set, yeah. Okay, so Depticon hasn't been around for a billion years. It's been around for 22 years, it says on this on this website here. About so. as long as Hero about as, Yeah, about mm -hmm. Oh. Stars. Mm -hmm. align. Stars, they align. The stars, they align. This seems like such a good event, though. This really does feel like it's it does going seem to be like a fun. Hero Clicks event. I'm looking at their, really their main page. They have some pretty cool, like, pictures and stuff up. It looks kind of fun. It's very, like... Looks very miniature heavy, like miniature war game heavy, which is those are my kind of favorite games to play, you know. So I kind of dig stuff like kinda that. Kind of just like looking at them. Yeah, I like looking people painting up good miniatures. Like, oh, that was a lot of Gen Con for us. It's just going, was. look at that. We got yeah. lost in that Fallout world, dude. That was, was so taken. Cool. They, they, they do look. So that guy gave us the master tour. He did. Can dude. I touch your minis? It was a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people be like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you can't, 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 can't pick this one up. <laughs> Here, you can pick up this one. Be like, all right, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Marvel Crisis Protocol, these trophies, are like a Thor's hammer oh, token. Yeah. I'm not going to get off on a different Marvel miniatures game. They just kind of look neat. Just saying they look neat. Just saying they look neat. I am interested to see that game in a larger scale. Though. I would Let's like to that. see it in a large scale. Yeah, dude. I just, the that's the one miniatures those, are very yeah. pretty. Yeah, if I, if I had so enough you, time cool. and money to justify another hobby, I would absolutely... Like Sentinels, like, yeah. Yeah, Sentinels like I dope. would absolutely do like Lord the entire Rainbow, basin Sentinel. and like crisis it's protocol cool. miniatures just painting them alone that's like two thousand dollars to get like every probably more to get every crisis protocol miniature yeah. i feel like they're the very main, expensive the time it takes to paint them is just that's where that's what's that's really dude that's me. where you lost i'm me, not man. a painter either i'm not an artist i've only done that i've only done that for like one game where i painted all the miniatures for it and i was like wow i never want to do this ever again cool yeah. yeah. Thank you for being pre-painted, Hero. Clicks. Yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is a godsend. We really don't know how good we have it that Hero Clicks is pre-painted. Oh, a fun gosh. story about that when we were at Gen Con, Simeon and I were talking to some guy who was doing a like I can't remember the name of it, but I asked him. I was like, "Oh, do these come pre-painted?" And he literally goes, <laughs> "Yeah, good one, man." He yeah. thought he actually thought I was joking. I was like, "Oh, really?" Was, was like, that dang, the, we're spoiled. Was that the like? Yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously it was like an miniature army kind of thing. They kind of looked like they were pre-painted. Was those the, like the you just insulted right him, bro? Right right insulted him, man. They had amazing maps. That was like what drew us over there. Was their maps were insane? Dude, they, they were three cool. D maps with like yeah, a ton of stuff going. on. Well, they on. were just like all the same color and just mm -hmm. very like I was looking at. Pretty it, I was like, these simple. look very uniform. Look good. Yeah, yeah, it was like uniform. a two color palette. It's like green and purple, and I was like, oh, are these pre-painted? And he like laughed and was like, "That's that's hilarious!" Wow. So I was like, "Well, I'm just dumb, I guess." Yeah. He was like, ha, ha, "If you were my son, I'd disown you." <laughs> Don't talk and then he about knocked both of us out. <laughs> Yeah. It was it. It's foggy after that. He rolled. Yeah, I don't really remember. Dice and <laughs> read a book for half an hour to tell us how much damage we took. Yeah. <laughs> Woke up in the Skyrim cart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Todd Howard. Todd Howard. Oh, hey, traveler. <laughs> Uh, but that's uh that is adepticon it looks fantastic guys we kind of gushed about it we're all over this this looks awesome i hope we can make the time to go the listener if you plan on going by all means let us know if you plan to make it to adepticon if you want to check any adepticon stuff out let us know um but there's so little we know about it by so little i mean we know literally every event that's happening but i'm also just so curious to finally see it in action ah and that is right we do have we have a lot of questions coming up for episode 500. I don't know if we personally will be able to get to all of them in episode 500. Probably won't. Uh, but all of the ones that were asked for our super secret special guests, we hear a lot of those will probably be able to be answered, which is really awesome. So episode 500 is coming up super soon, guys. It is going to be 
one of the coolest audio events podcasts we've ever done. I hope you guys get really excited for it because I'm pumped. I'm very pumped for what we have planned. It's going to be really, really, really freaking sweet. So that's just a quick episode 500 plug, which you don't even have to worry about because... Yeah, because you can go ahead and it's just going to be in your feed. It's literally just going to be in your feed when it pops up. So it's super awesome. You don't have to plug it. You don't have to go anywhere. Just keep on listening. That's what it's all about. Real quick plug, though, for the Discord, for the Patreon. You can join for as little as five bucks a month to start getting really cool rewards, behind the scenes pictures, videos, podcasts, all that fun stuff, Patreon exclusive videos. Chilling in our Patreon Discord is so much fun. Oh, yeah, we just dropped a video today. We just dropped a video today. It was pretty awesome. It was good stuff. Uh, and we filmed an insanely cool sketch today. Might be one of our best yet. Honestly, it's amazing. Uh, and there's some behind-the-scenes footage already on the Patreon there for everybody to check out. So think about supporting Dial H. If you like what we do and you want to support it, then by all means, please feel free to do that. And if you want to support us in a different non-financial way, you can also go ahead and leave us a review on iTunes, Spotify, all these places. It helps push our podcast forward that's a big thing if you want to subscribe to us on youtube like our videos add them to a playlist i don't know all sorts of all that stuff just really helps out with our engagement and the the who the algorithm pushing our youtube videos so it's always a big help so thank you guys so much for that i'm gonna do one quick question for the show this week there are dozens of us dozens alex the enchanter asks if you could pick one hero clicks figure to become sentient who would it be And why is the best option Plastic Man? And then he says, on a related note, why is the worst option Plastic Man? I think Plastic Man is like one of the worst options, honestly, because he's kind of creepy. He's kind of creep, dude. Like when they become sentient, are this are they the same size? Yeah, they'd be the same size. Okay. If he if Plastic Man has like his powers from the comics, he could be do whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's also true. He's just plastic. Then he's just plastic. Yeah. 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 Wow, that is great and horrible. Yeah, wow. exactly. Point, it's Alex. great and horrible. Point. Yeah, yeah. A uh, uh, hero looks figure to become sentient. Batman, God of Knowledge, would be a good good guy to rely on. You, you got him, him in any, your pocket. Yeah. Any advice? To it? <laughs> oh, is that is that the new series? Uh, sure. Sure. This is my. <laughs> hey, Batman, God of Knowledge. Did yeah. you just say that? Hey, Batman, God of Knowledge. Uh, <laughs> how many cups go into a court? <laughs> it's just like, Ugh, this is such a waste of money. Can you find the square footage of this room really quick? Yes. I mean, you have a pocket Mobius chair with that answer. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good one. Does I think another Mobius bad work one. If you can only fit your thumb in it. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I'm very smart now. Yeah. Um, the Captain kind of America stuff. Weapon X for a razor. I was, yeah, I was going to say the, <laughs> the XXS but, he's, but he's trapped. He's trapped in his little uh, you pop bubble. The top oh, you pop the little and bubble. And then you off. put that back on for when you're not using it. When he goes to sleep. Also, yeah. emergency <laughs> liquid. In case you're thirsty in the middle of the night, you just like drink was, his, uh, his stew his juice. Fluid. His stew Ew, juice. Dude. <laughs> That's gross. But I don't know if you guys ever read like there's an old book with a mouse on the motorcycle. The motorcycle mouse. I forget what it's called. But that's I, I would bring like Cap Wolf to life Stuart just as medium. my little motorcycle guy. Is it Stuart Medium? Yeah, no, Stuart, Stuart Medium. Stuart medium. <laughs> no, th- this really is a book. I'm not crazy. I promise you. It's like mouse on a motorcycle, motorcycle mouse, something like this. They give him a little, they give him a little mouse, a little tiny motorcycle, and he goes around on it. This is real. Oh, no, Stuart Simeon Medium. Got it. Yeah, back yeah, I guess whatever. Like biker mice from Mars. But yeah, the biker mice from Mars. Yeah. SWAT cats. So oh, jeez. The crossover event. I that think. We needed. Oh gosh, sentient hero clicks figures. I'm really trying to think here. I think Starro would be another annoying one. Oh, it's a terrible say, choice, dude. There's so many that would be like, and stuff. terrifying. Like it'd be kind of funny to have Galactus in there. You kick Galactus around. Like he's bigger than the rest of them. It's oh, like yeah. whatever, Galactus. Come on, dude. Oh. I'm the inner world. Shut up, Galactus, and kick him. <laughs> then he could, he could still like zap. Oh, he could zap yeah, you, dude. couldn't he? So, uh, like if their power wasn't I have a scaled down for with them, it'd be really like awkward because he could hurt. They could hurt. Like Superman could just like fly, you know, faster He'd be than a too speedy annoying. bullet I, I and feel become like an actual bullet size dude. dude. I would pick Spider Man Prime and just lock him in Calder's room. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'd be I'd be livid. Night you actual hear, nightmare like, scenario, hours of dude. stomping and screaming. In the chill of the night, bothering Calder all the time. <laughs> this little Spider Man. Oh gosh, dude. Get over here, get over here. Oh, we can't catch you. Oh, wall crawler, wall crawler. <laughs> What if they get, like, every time I do something, they get an action token, though? Like, mm. they can only take a few turns in a row. Like, they're sentient, but then also they have to abide by they the laws abide of the game, the rules of the game. If you throw tokens under them, they're just 
arms uh, crossed. Fine. You, you put like a tiny like barrier up, and it, like it's a character that doesn't have flying or oh, it's so Scooby it Doo. That'd be a good one. Oh fun. yeah, just a little little dog, a little Scrappy Doo, even Scrappy tinier dog. dog. But he's My... so annoying though. Yeah, maybe for you guys, Scrappy's oh cool with me. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's annoying. It's his whole thing. Is he's annoying? Yeah, he's annoying to you guys, oh, but he's cool with me. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we're tight. Who's who's like a tech whiz? You'd be like have like a tiny like a gizmo. Like yeah, oh, gizmo Gizmo's so or like annoying. Machine though. Smith or like cyborg mm, dude. Cyborg. Yeah, it's yeah like cyborg. cyborg. Be, so yeah, you put cyborg. He's kind Booyah! of like, yeah. Put him next, like plug him into the USB, the USB. <laughs> and then he's. It's like, hey, fix my computer for me. <laughs> there we go. Something oh, like that. That's a good choice. I kind of no. like the practicality of spot. Oh, you're no, losing, open up dude. a little porter, you know, portal, little portal. Also, what terrifying. if you did Porter? What yes. if you were a little tiny Scott putting bully him? <laughs> Both of them. Would I bully him? Would you bully a little? You just push him around? <laughs> yeah, and you're pulse wave me, huh? No, oh. I would film tiny hero clicks on Bob. Oh my gosh, oh. that'd be so fun. That just feels wrong. It does Wait, feel kind of you... feels more like holding a hostage <laughs> than having a little buddy. Like, well, all situations are that in this situation. <laughs> yeah, but, but this he's is a, a real, real, real person. <laughs> Well, Scott Crampton, there's like the worst dance, <laughs> but he's still so, like a flat bystander. But he talks to you. He talks to you through the bystander, dude. So it all comes out monotone because it's just like one flat note. Yeah. Wait, just, wait, 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 wait. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he, he sounds like a Charlie Brown. <laughs> he would actually be trapstered in Heroclix Land. He truly would be trapstered in Heroclix uh, Land. I think Scott Porter might be like worse than Plastic Man. That yeah, is, that's like. That kind feels of bad. Like, it's like evil, it feels dude. So creepy, man. Yeah. Does he actually like? What if he opens the power Porter. bomb? Boosters? Hello, I'm in Hero Clicks Land. <laughs> if he like opens his tiny power bomb set, is there actually like oh. stuff in there? That's why we need the tiny Hero Clicks unboxing. Yeah, yeah, dude. If he actually opens them up and there's something in those boosters, maybe it's worth having Tiny Scott Porter to figure out what's in Tiny Power Bomb. What is in Tiny Power Bomb? Yeah, dude. And then he picks one of those figures to become sentient. And then to we him. give Tiny Scott Porter to Scott Porter, <laughs> and we say it's better with he's you. Like, and really he's just like, "What's so scary? scary. This is really creepy, guy." Yeah. <laughs> How did you guys do you? <laughs> Shut the door off. <laughs> no questions. <laughs> uh, do you have Frenchie? Hey, Frenchie, if you're in my car, does my car get stealth energy explosion now? Yes, your car just, just does explode. That has, that just explode. <laughs> Can I get sidestep close combat expert for being in my car, dude? Thank you, Frenchie. <laughs> Like parking easier, you parallel park uh, easier. Thon, that's like another oh, just no. terrifying yeah. option, dude. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> terrifying, really dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you wouldn't want anyone that has uh like mind control kind of no. stuff. No, 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 no. Um you wouldn't yet. Yeah, no elder god. <laughs> like that's <laughs> elder gods probably bad. Off the list. A little tiny green lantern. That yeah. could be handy. Little Saint Walker. I need a little screwdriver. He you makes would... you a screwdriver. <laughs> a little screwdriver. Oh, I was thinking like you just like pull him out when it's like dark out, and you're like <laughs> using him. Click like, him on. Yeah, you like, see. Squeeze him, and he's like, can't see anything. Gets brighter, so his uh, energy shield's going. Prank the plant. There we. You go. know what? If it's voice acted by the same guy, Dude, I'll leave. No, what's his name? I would take Kite Man as well. It'd be kind of fun seeing Kite Man fly around yeah. your house, having a good hell yeah. Just, He's like still got a squeaky. Yeah, you throw Kite Man. Throw him at something and see if he can uh, maintain <laughs> ah, velocity. Flying, I'm Kite Man. Ooh, Mad Jim just get no, super dude. rich on the stock market. Oh gosh. I mean, his his old thing. his old market is crooked market. Old Mad Jim, a ton of money, man. I bet. I thought it's a Yu Gi Oh pick. They'd be get like Fiber Jar. It's no, yeah. that would suck. Uh, a Curry Bow, one of those guys. Curry Bow would be kind of Curry Bow would be kind of fun, dude. Little around. pet, little little buddy. Yeah. That's Yu Gi Oh is also a weird one because there's a just like pick. they're straight up monsters. Man with longbow. Yeah, dude. and then he's just like, help! I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I would really I like flame swordsman. Yeah, dude with Summon sword. Skull. Well, yeah, that'd be a have, terrifying. On the other end, you have like Exodia, the Forbidden One, and like Summon Skull. Blue I Ice. want, I want Spider Man seventeen seventy six. I want to talk to him. Mm, no, I'm. Uh, that'd I'm be actually fun, gonna. Actually. I'm gonna take Flash. And if I ever need little objects, he can. Oh, there you go. If it, say I need a little object from New Jersey, like a hero click. <laughs> Flash could go run and grab him for me. Say I need to break into, I don't know, Alliance Warehouse. Yeah, I think I'm going with Spider Man 1776. I think he's my pick. He'd be funny. He'd be really. Theoretically. Funny. <laughs> if he just yells, we shall not allow the British to rule us and stuff like that. It's That'd hilarious. Be cool too. And you're just going, oh, say it again. Say it again. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> 
I don't like the British. Yo, nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, nice, dude. Yeah, thank you. That's nice. sick. Yeah, I think that's going to go with 1776. He's awesome. Uh, final fun. final answers. I I think I'm taking Scrappy. I think any WWE wrestler could also be a fun Ooh. pick. Wow. Dude. Andre the Giant. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, uh, it'd be so fun. WWE wrestlers would be cool if you could... If you could have oh, like the whole collection, of oh them. man! And then like you can watch them recreate fan, anything, like fights and stuff. Mm, mm. Then That's you just have, like in Hero Collect. Yeah, you have like uh, some spinoff like WWE Network that you start on like YouTube. Uh, I would go with and Vince McMahon's just going crazy. The, uh, How do I shut this guy down? He can't do that. <laughs> the uh, Xavier School Wolverine is what I'd go with because like you could open anything with that. I well almost anything. But like, yeah, you got like a lock that's on like your uh, door or, you know, you're trying to get in somewhere. You're just like, hey, can you cut through this? Hey, man. Thanks, you man. Like, get a letter in the mail. And you're like, hey, you mind? I think Batman mind? God of Knowledge is what I'm going to stick with. That is such a good pick. I think I think we could get along maybe and he could be my friend and answer mm-hmm. questions for me. What if Batman wasn't your friend, Ian? Did that make you cry? A little bit. Yeah. With the I, like come, armor, I like come uh, home in like a Robin costume. Batman, I've got to some... You see, like, Batman? You see the chair like trying to You're float out the door. You can never be him. Yeah, and you see the door like like it's like shutting on the way out. But but b- Batman, I'm wearing the tights even. <laughs> and it's like old school Robin. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah dude. Yeah, you see, yes, that's what I come home in. It'd be terrifying to see. Well, great question, Alex. That, that is a that's that hilarious, really that's hilarious, hilarious actually. question, dude. Yeah. And also, next to, week we have reiterate. so many more. So Plastic funny. Man would be terrifying. For he would be terrifying. All the reasons, multiple reasons, dude. Mostly because he can't be stopped if need be. Yeah, yeah, it's scary. Yeah, no thanks. I love that panel where Superman is like about to punch Plastic Man. He's like, "You don't want to go there." And <laughs> I, is it Batman who gets in between them? Maybe it's Wonder Woman. But they stop Superman's punch. They're like, "You seriously don't want to mess with him." And Plastic Man is just standing up to him, looking at him like, "Damn right." <laughs> Philip like, Plastic yeah. Man, it's hilarious. But it's like, yeah, he is that powerful. Have you? Have either of you read um, DC East? Where like it gets I need to, to Plastic I Man? Need to get there, dude. I need to. I need. You literally to gave that. it to me, and I'm like, I need to read the, these. The I've read like series. the first two issues of it so far. I can't remember. It's like one of the spinoffs, but there's like a. A part where Plastic Man is like involved, and it's horrifying. Like I yeah. believe you. <laughs> I'll leave it at that because yeah, it's just ter- it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> Speaking of terrifying, if you oh. want some terrifyingly good deals, ah. I don't know that would have been better you in saved October. It. Nice uh, segueing. You should check out CoolStuffInc.com where they've got the coolest HeroClix <laughs> figures, including all the latest. HeroClix singles and sealed products. If you heard that audible slam, that is some pizza that just arrived at the door. You know, from you a can't... dog? <laughs> from a dog? From a lucky dog? A pizza uh, retriever? You know where you can't use the code DAO5? Where's that? At any pizza place. Oh, sadly. But you could try tried all of them in town. But you can use code DAO5 at coolstuffinc.com. And when you do, you'll save 5% off of all of your orders including the latest hero clicks singles and sale products and if you want to go direct to the source you can go to shop.wizkids.com and use code dial h10 to save 10 percent off of your order does not work for iconics specialty figures or pre-orders but everything else should be fair game you use that money save that money yada yada and guys for everything you need for hero clicks all your hero clicks needs videos podcasts and more Make sure to dial H. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks help. Ooh. <laughs> We're not going there. That's how numbers work. Over oh, yeah. six oh, people right. think I am funny. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. Well, the rest of you came.